สวัสดีค่ะ and welcome back to Ed Brain Sight here on GBN Station. You are now with me, Gon Gan Wei Shit Pan. This week we have two news update from a p a t a m a g a y a Temple in Thailand, followed by news update from Myanmar, India, and Italy. Let us rejoice in everyone's m e r i t together. w a t p r a t a m a g a y a Temple in Thailand hosts the 18th International d a m a d a y a d a Ordination Program in Chinese language or the i d o p Program. p r a k u s a m u s a n i t w o n g m u t i w a n g s o Director of Communication Department of w a t p r a t a m a g a y a Temple in Thailand, stated that on Saturday, July 15, 2023, p r a k u s a n g k h a r a t n a n g s i r i i t i t i n g t a k o the abbot of w a t p r a t a m a g a y a Temple, Presented as the presiding monk for the International Dhammadayada Ordination Program in Chinese language, the ceremony took place at the main chapel at b a p a t a m a g a y a Temple and was attended by 19 participants from various countries. Among them, seven were from China, two were from Taiwan, two from Singapore, and eight from Malaysia. The i d o p program in Chinese language is one of the quality projects of Wapatamagaya, aiming to create global peace through inner peace. It provides an opportunity for international individuals interested in Buddhism to learn and practice the teachings of the Lord Buddha. The training focuses on enabling participants to practice as true monks, emphasizing meditation, practice, discipline. An easy to understand meditation instruction. It equips individuals with the principles of Dharma to apply in their daily lives. Many participants from different countries have been deeply inspired and have been chosen to continue their spiritual journey. The program has created more Dharma practitioners and contributed to the development of good individuals in society, said p r a k u s a n i t Wong. Two exchange students from Germany had visited w a p a t a m a g a y a Temple in Thailand. They became aware of temple's information through their online research. They learned about meditation through videos and were eager to experience its firsthand at the temple. When they finally had the opportunity to meditate at the main chapel, they felt a sense of tranquility and peace. That surpassed their previous meditation experiences in the media room. Their visit to Wat p a t a m a g a y a Temple has left a deep impression on them. The serene atmosphere, the grandeur of the temple, and the experience of meditating in such a peaceful environment have touched their hearts. They express their gratitude for the warm hospitality they received from the temple staff, who provided them with guidance. And made their visit a truly memorable one. These young students have gained a newfound appreciation for the practice of meditation, and have the importance of finding inner peace amidst their busy academic lives. They were eager to share their experience with their friends and their families back in Germany, hoping to inspire them to explore the path of meditation practice and visit b a p a t a m a g a y a Temple themselves. If you're seeking a serene and meaningful experience, we extend our invitation to you to visit b a p a t a m a g a y a Temple in Thailand. Come and discover the beauty of the temple, immerse yourself in the practice of meditation, and allow yourself to be uplifted by the peaceful energy that permeates this sacred place. After more than three years of construction. Myanmar is preparing to unveil a giant sitting marble statue of Lord Buddha in its capital, n a y p y d o l on August 1. t The information team of Myanmar State's Administration Council said, "The magnificent marble statue, namely Mara Wichaya Buddha image, weighing 1,782 tons, stands tall at 63 feet and is accompanied by an 18-foot-tall throne, weighing an additional." 3,510 tons. The monumental project, spanning over three years, involved the dedicated efforts of more than 500 skilled engineering workers, said s a o Min t u n head of State Administration Council Information Team. It is the world's largest marble sitting Buddha statue, and was entirely funded by public donations, s a o Min t u n said. 
the giant Buddha statue, which will be consecrated with a state-level ceremony on August 1st, will be broadcast live on state-owned television channels, the information team said. A caravan of female and male Buddhist monastics and lay practitioners from Thailand concluded a 700 km peace pilgrimage for peace at the Mahabodhi International Meditation Center in Laka in India's mountainous far north. The 150 pilgrims began their peace walk under the leadership of senior Thai monk on 10th June and after receiving a blessing from His Holiness the Dalai Lama. The peace walkers had entered Laka on 12th July and were greeted at Garu village near the border between the state of Himachal Pradesh and Laka by Venerable Pikku Sangha Sena and a group of Sangha members and local students who extended their warm welcome to the very travelers. A traditional kata scarf was offered to each pilgrim as a symbol of honor and respect, while students from the MIMC offer a musical performance in tribute. Buddhist devotees from the village also attended in traditional costume with a generous offering of lunch. Having completed the most difficult and challenging portion of their pilgrimage across the foothills of Himalaya, representing 90% of their spiritual journey, the pilgrims arrived at the MIMC campus on 16 July. Member of the local Buddhist community including the Laka Buddhist Association, the Laka Kompa Association, were gathered there to welcome their arrival. Representatives from the Magaya Foundation had attended the International Inauguration and the Reign of Blessings Festival at Borobudur, the Temple of Heaven on Earth, in Italy on Friday, July 21st. Over 50 Tibetan lamas and monks from important monasteries in India Nepal and Europe had attended the traditional ceremonies to reinvigorate the blessings of the temple to be a place of pilgrimage, healing, and prayer, a place where anyone can study, meditate, and practice the Dharma now and for a long time to come. The event was dedicated to the inner world and environmental peace, and in particular to the swift return of Lama Kangshan Rinpoche. This week, allow me to introduce you to Cape Town Meditation Center in South Africa and let us discover how the center brings peace to the people there.
We don't know these things. People don't know these things. They don't know how to be happy. They don't know how to be peaceful. Coming here consistently and trying to meditate on my own helps. My name is Kalipa Dumani. I live in Kales River. I'm a bit far from here, but I, uh, not that far. It's, I think, about 20 minutes to get here. Um, well, I've always wanted to learn how to meditate. Um, I've always been interested in who I am. Um, I've gone through phases of going through self-inquiry, who I am, uh, what encompasses who I am, why I'm here on earth. And because of that inquiry, that self-inquiry seeking um, ultimately for joy and peace and understanding, um, I always wanted to uh, practice meditation and understand how to steal my mind. So that's yeah. why I, when I settled, I immediately searched for a meditation center because I knew there would be something like this in a bigger town. I thought it was going to be much easier to meditate once I started coming here. I thought also I would have uh, more motivation to meditate on my own when I started coming here. I soon realized that it, it still had to do a lot with my own will and choosing for myself what it is that I want and redirecting my life into that direction. Um, but being here, I can uh, use a metaphor of a child. When a small child is born into the world and they need to walk and talk, and they need to um, function in the world. They need to be surrounded by people who walk and talk. And that's how they walk and talk. And it's not because only that they must have will to walk, uh, but they must be around people who feel joy, who feel happiness, and know how to do the thing they want to do. So I think the biggest benefit of coming here is seeing you guys and seeing how happy you are, how peaceful you are, and the simplicity in the life that you live and how you are going through your life and the purpose of being here. I think the biggest benefit is um, having a community that uh, seeks the same thing that, that I'm seeking for. I've also learned that it's not like a linear thing. It's not like you're climbing a mountain and it's consistent. You you have bad days and you have good days. You have good meditation days and not very good meditation days. And you have times where you don't want to meditate and times where you do. <laughs> so, um, for example, today I had a really good experience meditating. I felt really a lot of ease and a lot of calm and just deep joy. So meditation days are not the same, but I think coming here consistently and trying to meditate on my own helps. It's like, even though sometimes you take steps back down the mountain and then you come back again and you fall, but you're still going in the direction that you wish. So what I would say to, to the sponsors is that what they're doing um, with their energy is really brilliant. It's gonna change people's lives and we don't know these things. People don't know these things. They don't know how to be happy. They don't know how to be peaceful. They don't know how to be joyful. You know, when you're able to come back to yourself and start stop being fed by the world all the time and living from a place of control of your mind and, and being able to find that peace and joy, you inevitably spread peace and joy everywhere you go. And uh, that's what the center is doing. It's bringing peace and joy. And I think it's going to bring peace and joy to more people. The more, more people hear about it and know about it and um, discover it, they will be able to feel peace and joy. It's going to make a huge change for them, for the people. Yeah.
We have now reached the end of our Edward Insight News Program, but please make sure to check out all episodes of our news program on our website, worldwideweb.gbnus.com, or on Facebook page, GBNUS. Thank you for joining us. Rejoice in your merit. Sadiqa.